Hi, my name is Loy and I'm bringing you this video from 15 feet above the ground. I'm in Kilimani, this is one of Nairobi's upmarket neighborhoods and I'm here to speak to Debra. She's a real estate consultant and she's going to tell us all about her journey and all about this business. So thank you so much for clicking and let's just get into the story. much Debbie for agreeing to speak with me. Thanks so much for taking your time. Yes. And um, the first thing I want to start with is just your introduction. Maybe just let us know who you are and a little bit about where you come from. I'm Deborah Jaiwaso. I'm a real estate consultant. I'm actually an expert in real estate. I come from Kitale. Yes. I come from a family of four. Have uh, one sister, two brothers. And uh, yeah. You come from Kitale. Did you grow up there? Yes, yes, yes. I grew up in Kitale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was life? How was your childhood? Hi. My childhood was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I came from a middle class type of family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom is a teacher by profession, my dad is a businessman by profession. Mm -hmm. yes. When you were a child, what career path were you thinking of doing? Uh, I had two career paths. Actually, I wanted to be a lawyer. Uh -huh. But uh, when I was in class seven, eight, there's this teacher who used to beat me so much, so I wanted to become a police woman, a traffic police officer, uh, so that I can always be stopping her. So, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> How did that go? Did you end up following uh, one of the two lawyer yeah. I'm a police? Yeah, but then I really wanted to do law or okay. political science. Ah, okay. okay. So I finished my primary school, went to high school, I studied at Bahati Girls in Nakuru, uh -huh. then I went to university. Uh -huh. So unfortunately, our university did not have that. Course. Course. Okay. So I really wanted to be a politician. Mm. Yes, I really wanted. My dad is a politician, by late. the way. Ah, well, <laughs> yeah, my dad is a politician. Even when you were like a talk, you were like a talk. But it's not too late for you, even. Yeah, I really love politics. When you nice. come to think of it, okay. I really love politics. Yeah. It's interesting. Maybe it's uh, something in the future. Yeah, of course. I'll nice. join politics. Full. All of this. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Nice. So you said your, your university did not have the cost. So what did you study? Did I you did study? Bachelor of Commerce. Okay. I specialized in uh, business administration and uh, human resource. Okay. Which yes. you, do you mind me asking where? Where? Which university? Pwani University, Kilifi. Pwani, Pwani University, Kilifi. Yes, yes. Nice. So that's BCom. Yeah, that's BCom. And uh, did you end up following now the BCom path? Uh, I think I'm a good marketer. Uh, okay. So, you know, I, I chose, okay, you know, with BCom, you have to choose between accounting, finance, mm -hmm. uh, is it actual science and uh, BA, BA, business administration. Mm -hmm. So I chose business administration because I'm more of a marketing person. Okay. So I think, yes, I followed my path. Nice. You currently I'm doing real estate and uh, it's more of marketing. It's more of what I love. That's what I love doing. I love interacting with people. I love, uh, I love what I do. Nice. Yes. Before we come to what you do, take us back to the first time you earned some money. How did you earn your first money? The uh, first, first money, I've had a series of businesses I've been doing. Okay. Like when I was young, I really wanted to be rich. I'm st I'm st I still want to be rich. I'm really working hard to be rich. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, first, first, first business. I did, when I was in first year, I went to a college school, long, uh, long holiday, right? Mm -hmm. I went to, uh, what is it called? A beauty college. Ah, okay. So yeah, then my mom financed me. I started a salon. Uh, that's mm -hmm. when that's when I was in second year, first semester. Okay. Yes. So I started a salon. Where Where was the salon? Kilifi, behind uh, Pony University. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I used to pleat people. I used to pleat people. I used to, okay. what is it? I used to. I employed some people from around. Uh -huh. Because you know, Costarians know how to pleat. Yes. But now, because it was a university, it was easier because. Other students would come to my place to promote me. Um, students were your main clientele. Yes, they were my they were my main clientele. Yeah. Until uh, okay, so at some point I closed it because it was not doing so well. I still I would still not play to people from my house. So until one day the landlord told me, okay, after I'm done with the with the. Uh, my degree when I'm done so I was supposed to come home then uh, wait for the graduation yeah so at that point that's when uh, the the landlord actually told me ah because you're good at this thing why don't you just stay here then I'll give you the room for free <laughs> then I was like no that's not the landlord yes ah. so, he he wow. was a very nice guy okay. oh actually yeah yeah why for to like 
alipa ni like tulikuwa alipa rent on time but anyway so so when i nilimaliza shule walikuwa like um, why don't you stay here tukupatie one of the rooms you continue with your business then i was oh. like no i need to go to my people like i've been yeah. cost for like five years yeah. alone like my parents i need uh, and yeah uko ni bara mm. my entire family is in bara so i had missed having that the yeah, family yeah. connection yeah. my yeah. home yeah let me ask about this salon business do you can you remember how much you are making through this business i can't really tell you know it varies sometimes i would okay. make 3000 sometimes i would make 500 you know this in a, in, a month? in a day in a day yes sometimes i would make lower mm. sometimes i would even meet somebody in school and they're like let me send you the money like they send me like 1200 1800 when they come on saturday i'm so busy that i don't yeah, even remember who was who I yeah see. Au kwa metrack hizo hizo ni ah ask on metrack alafu ukiwa tu kuku sustain interesting yes. okay. anytime i came for long holidays i used to to do some businesses i was employed in an insurance company it was called quad insurance company wow. mm. i was employed in novita ginger biscuits they were launching it mm. I did some is it my hustle Which I am a pigger this is something that I could do how are you finding this hustle uh, your time could be now Alex so any time oh, I was uh, yes which is Gigi right yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's a part where I used to write uh, if you're looking for a job there's a part I used to write I'm looking for a sales job then yes. I would get calls okay yeah I would get calls sana sana then I choose mm. getting attacker nice yeah so That's I used to just advertise myself like yo I'm looking for a job That's a good tip. It's yes. an interesting. I don't know kama inaweza work side. I don't know, but I think Gigi has that capat. Ah, I'm not sure, but yeah. that time or Alex did one your part and it okay, was really working. Yes. Nice. So here we are. I want us to go now to where you finished college. Wanakuambia ubaki ufanye uendelee na ku plate nywele. Yes. But you said I want to No, work. yeah, yeah. So what happened next? So haya, ndio nimemaliza shule. Uh-huh. Now I have nowhere to go. I come back to Nairobi. Yes. I start living life like you. I'm back. That was from June yeah. to around December. So I'm just around there. Graduation was uh, on December 2018. So I just came back and I decided, okay, because the only thing I don't have a certificate, I'm not graduated. The only thing I, uh, between these six months, what I did, I still went and looked for a job in a salon. Uh-huh. Okay. So yes, I operated there for like three, four months. Then I saw like, oh, I think there's that ka- ka believe mtu amesoma, afai kufanya nzi kazi ndogo ndogo. You know, yeah, kuna hiyo yeah, part, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. working with people, but they're like, ah, uh, umesema umefanya degree you know that's Awa, part yeah. 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 yeah why are you coming to borrow <laughs> job ya tau mbili tau tano <laughs> tau, yeah <laughs> so ah, nika kufika tu place ni corner let me she shall it take that okay hello so by nika kujan katafuta wera nikaanza kufanya salon kiasi kiasi then i was like ah so uh, december came i went yeah. to graduate i graduated then i came back to nairobi then uh, my sister is in real estate Okay. So she introduced me to real estate. Okay. She actually employed me in uh, at a company for some time. Uh-huh. Then uh, after it's called Paradigm Homes. Okay. Yeah, that was 2019, first of January. So 2019 you get this introduction to real estate and you yeah. start working. Yes, I start working. How was it for you like when you got into this business? Mimi mtu wa watu. I just entered into the business. I tried. Okay, the first month was a bit challenging because I never knew Kilimani, I never knew anything to do with Kilimani, okay. Kileleshwa. Yeah. I never knew this place is an high end area. I remember there was this time when uh, a client came, akona this big cars V8 Lexus. Mm. Then I'm like, okay, so I'm supposed to get inside and take the client to see the house. Okay, it was a bit like culture shock. Culture no, shock. Okay, no, no, thank no, no, no. you. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah, so I came with time, nikaanza kuzoea, nikaanza kuzoea. Ah, come this thing somebody can afford them. Unajua, there's nothing hard to afford. Wow, there's nothing hard to afford. There's nothing hard to afford. <laughs> And that was the introduction to real estate. Yes, and that What's was my introduction. So I worked as a sales uh, representative oh. for like three months. Okay. Then uh, I thought of, oh, well, well, I think I'm good. Okay, maybe I'm to uh, employment. Okay. So I I got employed there. I worked for some few months. I collected some money. I actually mm-hmm. closed some businesses. Uh, we were doing more of rentals. Okay. So I gave out some rentals, got some commission. The salary, I had a salary of 35,000 every month. Okay. So with time uh, I thought okay maybe I can start my own company kidogo 35k every month with na commissions too. Yes. And so you are saying you are able to actually give rentals. Yes. How was the commission like nataka kufanya kama kidogo tu kidogo. So uh, it was just 50 50%. 50 50. Yeah, it depends. 
there was a time it was 30 70 ukifanya so, sana so for example go explain because sasa for example mtu mwenye ajui exactly what we are talking about so when some you, oh, okay it depends with the company uh, when you are for example there are some companies which give you 30% mm-hmm. like if you are being paid commission client amelipa in a month yes okay kuna kuna wengine watafanya 50 50 so in a month for example mtu amelipa nyumba ya 10k uh-huh. And so to pay to exact for mzuri 200k yes umesikia <laughs> 10k ya fana hizi ya ikini money so 10k no so, so let's say somebody has paid that okay for easy mathematics mtu amelipa nyumba ya 100k yes na wewe unapewa 50% yes that's 50000 50k over plus commission. salary 35000 yes and you are able to close this type of a deal yeah you can very it's so it was so easy actually that's what i started with Yeah at that time I did not know okay you can do rent you can you can sell houses you can manage houses uh-huh. I was so green yeah yeah so you are focusing on so, giving houses as for rent yes and you are closing so for example if you can remember you have said you worked there kidogo too but on average you gonna take home pesa ngapi hizo so I never wanna. stayed there for so long okay. so the first month of course nilipo 35 just when we closed uh-huh. so the second month is when I closed like a 200 so I was given some some good money like 150 or one something hmm. Hey, yeah. How did that feel for you because you see you have to talk. Ai, pesa ilinichanganya. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can imagine. Yes. No, so so when zombie tuka shule, hey. umepata dough, unashindwa dough asi ufanyia nini? Nimeenda mtaani nilipa rent. Nilikuwa nilipa I think 10 Gs that time. Yeah. Nimelipa 4 months. Eh. Yeah. Bado niko na change. Unazoa? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. yeah. That was business for me. At this point the rain has actually started so there might be some background noise forgive us but tuendelee na hadithi. So Yeah so where were we? So we were at a point where by nime quit now I'm starting my own company. Now you want to start your own company. Ah, yes. How was that? How did you do that? Ah sasa unajua nilikuwa nisha kuwa pro kwa biashara. Mm-hmm. So what I did uh, I just went and registered through Citizen uh, mm-hmm. uh, qualifications blah blah blah. So alafu nikaanza sasa field work. Field work. Yes. What does field work mean? Field work means people? you source for the houses. Actually people uh-huh. think real estate is so easy. Mm-hmm. It's not. Real estate is not easy. You can stay three months without closing a deal, and you can close a deal in a week. You can close even ten deals. Yeah. Wow. So real estate, is not, real estate is not that easy. Direct. Yeah, it's not that direct. I couldn't to raise. I couldn't to go to raise it by the way. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I started field work. I started knowing uh, some people, and by the time I was moving from the company, I had known a few of house owners and all that. Okay. And I had known some clients who were looking for one, two, three things. So okay. it was not so hard for me because so, I had some little experience. Yeah, so yeah. you had some experience and also some networks yes, here and there yes. in this business. Yes. Um how was it when you started your own? Did you immediately start making deals? I'm hey, 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 hey. <laughs> constant. Character development. Nilitoka na kiburi. Okay, not kiburi really, but I just quit it. I was starting my own thing. It was hard at the first time. Actually it was so hard that The first few months I looked for my friend who was also doing real estate and she had also quit and somewhere else. Yeah. Akakuja. Tukasema sasa sisi tunataka kuwa mabazu kwa industry. Yeah. First kwanza kutafuta job nyingine of course. Kwa sababu sasa hii hatuna ka kitu na tunataka kitu ya daily. Yeah. And so we got some promotion tukafanya job at uh, Shell petrol station flani kulikuwa na mapromo. Mm. Tukapata job ya promotion Shell. Mm-hmm kachukuliwa tulikuwa tunafanya job tunalipwa 500 per day ah hiyo per day tumamka 6 asubuhi tunatoka job juu 6 jioni ah alafu ah, tunaambiwa tufika ufika tao after 6 juu lipwi <laughs> so i did it for like 3 days ah yeah and yeah and then kaona eh real estate pay kwa ngi ngumu hivi hata kama ni ngumu it's all this hard but your opportunity what uh, okay nipoa ukikuwa campus if you are a student in campus umemaliza kampo una kitu ya yeah. kudu Look for these promotional jobs. Zo kuwa kuna company nyingi yeah. promotion, ikuwe okay. super, ikuwe wapi. So yeah. kaa hiyo si tuliitwa tu zile za. Ni aje una job tu anataka kufanya promotion. Then we're like sisi ndio watu tunataka kufanya promotion. Yeah. <laughs> so it was something so easy. Yeah. So eh tukapiga hiyo hustle, ah three days later nikona hiyo iwezi. Yeah, ni hiyo kurauka iwezi. Mm. So of course I quitted. Tulilipo juu after how many months but it was okay. Eh yeah. eh. Ah uh, then from there I came back now to real estate. Nikabude yeah. mai imekata. Tufanyaje turudi tu pale tulianzia. So we came Hash was working for some other company I don't know which one. Okay. Tukarudi tuanza kupiga lap, alikafika place. Yeah kanembe eh hey, mimi nimepata job nyingine wewe we piga tu hizo bia. Yes and I did yeah. that. Nikangangana yeah. nikangangana. Uh, my first deal after quitting I sold two units. 
I was paid around 700 and something thousand. Yeah, so I sold the house. So that's when I knew I have the potential. Like, come I can do this thing. You were paid. How did that happen? 700. So you took um, commission. Yes. So now I'm not employed. It's not a salary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was paid uh, 700. 700. It was 375 times too, by the way. You personally in Changanya. 375 is equal like. You buy equal 13 million. 13, 13 million, 12.5, yes. And then you get the commission of 375. Yes. Now, for who's a bill? Yes. Nice. Yeah, it was 750. Hey, 750. Yes. Minus taxes, so we do 730. Your pesa ilienda wapi? Your pesa ilisha. Pesa ilisha. In Nairobi. I was too young. I was, wow. I was not really young, but your pesa... Siku kuwa na so ni kutumia madhe, kufanya nini, kupiga uh, raundi, bla bla bla. So uh, what I did, uh, I opened a salon. Okay. Again. You know, ni kapasho tu na kunga nayo. Yeah, beauty. Yeah. So I opened a salon again. But this year Nairobi lilipiga character. After nisha piga shere, kothi ni merudi, ni mba kiri wapasa kidogo. So I decided, ah, nisha nifungwe salon. Uh, At least ni kwangena two sources of income. Yes. A salon ni kakuza, ni kaka for like nine months. Ni kakata. Corona ka come so that was 2020. Ah okay. 2020 when okay. corona ili come na January 2020. So corona ili come ili come March. Eh. So July August nika close down. Niko na tu haiwezi. Pesa i come. Eh. Wakazi ndio pia. Unazua tu eh. ni, ni ni hectic. Businesses are hectic. Kwa hiyo mtu anafanya biashara na prosper. You should congratulate that guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, eh, hey, me, I'm, st- I'm a bit confused. Like, yeah. no, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, so you buy a real estate. So, yeah, I, guess, real estate. I guess when you got that to Kaojiona, you wait, yeah. you came away, like, yes. now Plus, this is it. I realized, ah, kumbeleza uza nyumba. You know, I used to think it was so hard. Yeah. But it's just, it's just about, I think me, me, I'm a good, I have some good sales. sales. I'm a yeah. good sales person. Nice. So, I eh, kafika 2020, nika sota yangu yote. Yeah. Oh, of course, after I closed down the business, I love the business really took a lot of my time. The Kuchu, salon. Uh, the salon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, Biashara Ikukua, Biashara Ikukua Chini, like I was not closing deals back to back. Okay. So, so of course, Pesa Elisha. So, real estate Ikukua Chini, Salon Ikukua Chini, na Corona Nui. Yes. So, How so of course. How did you survive? As I said, I'm Zuri, I'm going rent car for months, five months. You only survive. I'm going to rent it. I suppose it costs. Okay. Woo! Who are you? 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 Um, so yeah, so we're at the point where we are going to get our We have this good commission and we're going to get our money. So we're going to get our money. We're going to get our money. We're going to get our money. We're going to get our I've closed down the business. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm paying so much rent. Because we're going to get 25 Gs, right? Then Salon was paying like 15 Gs. So I'm, I'm parting away with 40,000 that I'm not making. Yes. So I had to, to quit on one thing so that I can concentrate on one thing. Okay. So yeah, I quitted. Then I, I decided now to focus on real estate, you build my salon. company. Oh, yes. Salon kafunga. And kachana nao. Niko na vitu by the way. Lakini si uzi. Za salon. Also yes. utarudi. Ah, of course. So well, in your future kuna salon, kuna politics. Yes. Ah, nice. Very nice. Na Yes. So um, you are now focusing on real estate. Yes. How was that 2020 for you? Uh, it was it was okay actually. So after that's after I closed the salon. That was on August, just before my birthday. I think a day before my birthday. Uh, that's when I now I came back to real estate and business in Kwebaza Kuri Kidogo at So I came back to real estate and I sold. That was twenty twenty. I sold. Uh, I gave out some rentals. Blah blah blah. December. That's when I sold another house. Wow. But this other house now. Hey. Nilikuwa na so much things I wanted to do. So of course, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Yeah, so um, when you say Ulipiana, kuna most of the months before you lose the house, you lose December. Yes. Ata, no, 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 I'm going to go to the house. 2020, the business is bad. It's going to be less. So I could just manage to keep up myself, like, which is provided and all that. At some point, I went home. Uh, 2020, I went home out to Kitale for some time. 
for like okay. a month or two. Okay. Then I came back. Because of financial trouble? Not really. I had oh. got to see my mama and all that. And we had some, uh, some event going on in our family. So okay. Yeah. okay. So, 2020, we said my mother's school and her kid. Hi. So, the last time I was at yes, but bad. So for me, I'm curious to understand when you say it's your worst year, do you remember an average earning like Ile you are just surviving in that? Apana, I was just getting 50,000 here, 30,000 here. It wasn't a good year. Actually, you say 2020, I could school for you. 2020 ilikuwa ile mwaka nilijambia and then apparently 2020 ndio wasio aliuza hao kushinda all the other years. But where are So nakutana na mabishi zangu wako like ah man ni mauza 20 units. He call like what the fuck 20 units. Oh. And it's our. <laughs> so I'm like I'm not even sold even one. Yeah. I had sold ah 2020 August. Okay, yes. Sorry, after I closed down biashara, I sold the unit to Client, uh, he was a very nice client, but now you pesa niliuza, it was a mortgage client, so I came to oh. be paid 2022 April. Nice, yali, so Oja, your time with the mortgage, in, uh-huh. yes, uko na pesa, like in your like our Kulipi Mbaka client and Amalizia, yes, uh, uh, especially mortgage clients, it takes time, it, it can take even a year or two okay. for you to get, get paid money. because if it's not being financed by a bank, it's being financed by a circle, aish, pesa inaza kata kutoka. Yeah. So yes, I sold a unit, but now I had to wait. So in that 2020, I want to get a sense of Munyananza, especially Munyananza Ibiashara, just at the beginning, what are the earnings like? Because for, no. for you, Uli, you to... kuanza, usianza ti, ti, you want to start a co agent, or you want to start a co broker, just get employed first. It teaches you a lot of things that will make you responsible. Like, unajua, you have to reach before the client. Kuna vitu mob you learn from the, the okay. company, okay. just get employed first. Next year, I'm going to employ you, by the way. Next year, I'm opening an office. So I'll give you opportunities. Nice. But don't start with, ah, he can't do it. No. It's not like okay. so many people have done degrees about uh, real estate degrees, mm. apparently. Mm. So it's not just a cause that you know, I'm a cool agent. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, there are so many things you need to learn how to handle clients, how to be patient, how to have, there's a class who just come up on attitude. You know, there are so many things involved. So many people give up on the way. But yeah. when there's unemployment, at least they could have gotten out with something. Some commissions. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. So that was your worst year, 2020? Yeah. Come to 21. So, 2021, January, this girl calls me and tells me, Hi, Debbie, uh, do you know any person who can uh, be willing to do uh, sales in a different company, work with the developer? Then I'm like, then I'm like, yes, how much are they paying? Then I call like, yeah, you can start with 50 Gs. Then I'm like, yeah. Because she, she was asking me, are you sure uh, you, you're willing to do that job? I'm like, yes. You can do a job with money. 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 So, kumbe the office was in Westlands, but the developer had built some houses in Kino. So, you can do a job with Kino. But Nicole like, eh, na kwa saje kuza. Mm. Yeah, so I went, tried the Kakata, three months later again, back to the street, where, where, where I belong. <laughs> employment, so you and employment, you have not, I would have quite employed for a long period. For a long period. You I think, um, I think I'm more, I'm more of an employer than an employee. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, spending pressure, I don't work well under pressure. Plus, I love doing what I, I love doing something at my own pace. Okay. Yes. Can I pay a target? Can I pay a target? Come on, no, no, yes. So I think I'm more of an employer than an employee. Okay. Yeah. So you came back to your own thing now. Now I decided, okay, now when I was working there, uh, one of the owners who I had sold a house some time back, like 20, I think 2019, uh, 2020, I had sold also another house, but I had sold 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 another house, Ah, kuna dona ngoje? Eh, eh, iko, eh, iko inje. Na kuanga uyo mtu. Eh, eh, okay. <laughs> so, after, after, uyo msaka Nicola, kani mbeni aze? I've bought another apartment, I've bought five units. Can you manage it for me? This is perfect, bro. Five units. Wapi kilimani? Ay, I'm coming back. So, by the time I was quitting, I had uh, given out the entire house and I was managing. So, the five units, I was being paid, I think, 70k per, per house. Ah, 35k per house. Wow. The house was going for 70,000 unfinished. So I'm going to pay So I'm going to So I came back. That was on uh, May. May, I was going to pay for my account. 
then uh uh persons who were accounts so i came kapiga advert moja safi 2021 we sold five units Wow. Yeah. Remember 2020 2019 I had sold one unit. 20 I had sold two units. Two. I don't 20, I have not forgotten. Yeah, 20, 2019. 2020 <laughs> yeah. I sold two units, but siko okay. nimelipwa. Okay. 2021 I sold five units. Okay. Then nikapata jobs za management, nikapata so nika so, grow pesa to pesa. To pesa sasa hapa pale nikaingia kufanya my Airbnb, nikaingia okay. to biashara tukaanza kujipa. Then 2022 was my best year. Yeah. Nice. Yes. How was it? So 2022 now umeshika biashara you have understood you are in your company 2022 my company is picking up people okay. are coming to like oh you are Cherry Creek properties oh oh yeah, yeah. yeah. nimeanza kujulikana hapa pale so i'm like yeah i'm really trying yes yes what is um one highlight so out of all this journey that you have given me what's a highlight that you can remember from this work as of course kwa kwanza ile close deal ya maana That was, was the 750. Yes. Yes. Actually, apart from that day, I've, I've been closing deals up apale, but I think the highest check nilipoa ni 750. Nice. Yes. Hizo zingine napogwa so 4, so 3, so 2, so 2, so 3. Kuna unasema ni kama ni pesa kidogo jameni. Yeah, yeah. Si si za more bivo like kuna wazee wakona do, kuna wazee unakutaka hivi wanalipa 50 million, wanalipa 30 million like kuna watu wakona pesa. So kama una doe ni wewe tu ile Nairobi. Ile Nairobi una pega msee. Mimi nimesota. Yeye anakwambia amesota na kona ka kona pesa 200 million kwa account. Yeah. The clients okay uh, another happy uh, if I'm to say a happy moment for me. Yeah. There this day I took a client and she came and paid cash. Okay. Yes. Was it a, a, a sale? Yes. Anaenda kwa gari ana kama na bahasha. Shika shika 6 million. Yes. Anakwambia here it is. Actually ana account tag ana makina extra. Then I'm like I would say that and, thing and happening that before. <laughs> I don't know. But then sometimes I'm tempted. I always ask my clients, hey, what, yeah, do what do you do?" I'm but like, "Ah, no, I'm a business person." But then 90% of the clients what? say they are business people. What type of client? Actually, my next question was going to be, what yes. type of clientele do you normally have? So this is Kilimani, Kenyans, in Nairobi up market. Kenyans Kenya. too, Wakikuyu, Wakisi, what Waluya. Because I want to interview them. <laughs> I'll connect you to them. Nice. To do a wanato happy pesa. So is it is it mostly like uh, young people middle aged? Yeah, women, mostly young and couples and old people. Sorry, hmm? Young couples and young old couples. people. Yes. Ata actually na madem do buy sana. Madem do buy sana. Girls come and they buy houses. They, they really do. Money? Actually ke call you na client even in Johnny Dave ni sure bet. Hiyo ni hiyo ni sale. Hiyo ni kitu unajua. Hii God hata ikuwe aje ita go through. You know one thing I like The more I do these stories, the more I talk to people like you, the more I realize people have money, especially young people. Yeah, young people have money. And even young women. So, and most of the time, mtu hata siyo, mani maybe ni sponsor, uh, people, people are working. People are working, people are working for their money. Unasikia hapa, unasikia for example. <laughs> <laughs> people are working, people okay. are working. So most, yeah. most people have given houses. I've also given men houses. Yes, but at least I can say young couples and the ladies are the ones who buy mm-hmm. most according wow. to my statistic then uh, my statistics that is yeah. then uh, apart from that oh my lowest moments ni shay close no deal moments. then nikabako the last time the last that's minute it. like client amekuja amesema how much is this house it's 270000 that is uh, it's 90000 times 3 you know kilimani we pay two month deposit one month rent ah okay okay so that's 270 okay uh, the client was supposed to check in uh, f- uh, like f- let's say like first of april right yeah then on 29th the client says i'm no longer I'm interested not, can you guys return my money yes ouch yes. <laughs> kwa budget yako kwa budget yako share kaka 45 ama kaka 90 it depends with the owner na kupatia pesa ngapi yeah that was i think that was one of the lowest squeeze hizo my heart break me mob acha you don't feel like okay with time you grow strong you unakuwa strong mara ya kwanza nilikuwa na turn up client anakosa ku turn up na feel Yeah. Squeeze. Ah, nikikaa mkose kutana up niko la clients wengine kaa 10 so eh utaendelea na Actually mimi ni reduce ya number so it's better nda nda hold down wengine fit. Yeah. Yeah. So we just grow with time and then I'm so I've learned to be patient. Actually real estate inaweza ku humble. Yeah. Unaweza kuwa uko broke, unaweza kuwa una drive, uko na kakitu, what do you struggle? Okay, it's not like struggle struggle ile ya kuteseka. Ni struggle yeah. ya unangoja pesa ikuji like pesa yeah. ujui itakuja yeah. siku gani. Yeah. yeah. So maybe take us through for somebody who's interested in joining Osha to the best way to start is actually to get employed yes. but could you take us through your day to day activities? Hii job ina 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 ndagaje. So 
it depends to na when you unajipanga you like sometimes you have clients sometimes you don't have clients so maybe like on monday tuesday wednesday let's say monday and tuesday is my field work monday and tuesday mostly move after makeja yeah i familiarize myself with what's going on prices may reduce wapi we have discounts wapi yeah so then, that means unaenda physically yes you have to be there physically yes yes you ni lazima then uh Uh, what is it on uh, Wednesday I can have two three clients but I woke up to Sunday ni Sunday ukini call niko job natoka church na kuja job so clients unawaonesha these houses so yes. maybe mtu anakupigia anataka nyumba ama anataka yes so unamwambia the budget yes. range yake ni ngapi uh, what you have and what kana naweza top up ama ka it's ako on the right but most people wanajua budget za area so yeah, yeah. most of this information you yes iko nice alafu competition pia that's another challenge We have like 10,000 agents in Kilimani. Wow. Na bado kuna wale mabazu walikuwa sasa acha na sisi tumekuja kuja. So like what I love about God is when we can be go up side MC, side MC because we like 10,000 na kila mtu ana ndo nyumbani every single day. So are you willing to train? Somebody mtu akikuja kwako akuulize maybe aone hapa aone hapa. I can give somebody I can give them somebody to train them. Somebody to train Not them. me. Yeah. Okay. So you say you have to tell level. Kuna time nilikuwa naonyesha wase kufanya job, kufanya nini. Yeah. But say I can give them somebody who is also who is ako your level ya ku anaweza unjo sisi na hiyo time mob ya ku funza yeah, wase sasa niko kwa clients sasa hii nimeanza kushika nimeanza kufika pick season yangu unajua yeah. so kuna mse anaweza kupatia we will do them but hey, of course atafanya na afi atafi Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. Wataongea tu yes. Eh. Yeah. Umesema uko kwa peak season. Ah uh-uh, ah, sijafika peak season. <laughs> Naelekea. Unaelekea. Yes. Unaelekea. So can we talk about um, maybe returns now as it is. So I can imagine that you you may from that time. Yeah. Sasa hii kuko aje biashara. Biashara iko poa. Mhm. Eh, apart from hii pacha maandamano but biashara iko poa. Yeah. We can say I can say sisi kosa ka so monthly. Hata kasi monthly. Ah uh, So it was a monthly so my monthly is around 50 gs next month ni under 600 gs so ki balance was a some money sizi kosa ka 150 ama ka so yes unajipanga na yodo yes ju right now as we are talking i've sold uh 3 4 6 units eh yes are you talking about this month or no from uh, this january began. yes from january yes january i sold a unit Uh, February I sold four units. Wow, this was good. Yeah. She don't need to say anything. Oh, bad. March, March I sold. Tuko March. Tuko March. Yeah, I've sold three, but but no. Nice. Pesa jengia. Yes. So I think too, as we progress, the more you 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 go. I would put a test. One of those units. We will have a unit. We put a test. Don't go. Don't go. Ndogo ndogo kumaanisha one bedroom is on pesa one of this area i know one bedroom is going to be about 6 yeah, 6 6 5 6 7 yeah. okay and the commission is a what percentage depends okay una pia una pa 1% kama una pa 2% pa 3% okay so it just depends on the contract you have depends the, the contract yes. okay nice so somebody can calculate there maybe it can calculate mbele <laughs> But that's that's interesting so you have you have had a good start of the year yeah. and the pesa pesa zitakuja mbele zita come to do you plan to because i, I one thing i'm also interested in personally me yes. upenda property me upenda real estate yes and my ambition also is to own some property yes. one day yeah i also do want to own property okay i want to actually i wanted to buy i bought land last year i bought some land i bought my car right. so what i want to do i want to buy a penthouse penthouse yes i want to buy more land i want to build a oh anyway to go to mungu eh is nyinyi ndo mnatoa hizo ma deals yes you, because yeah because It's you are easier. you know so like, this business yes. you know where the deals are well sikia watu wako watu kuuliza una shop au shiki limani aje na unauzia sasa nyumba za kilimani yeah. ama like oh, debu so buy how uh-huh. no i don't stay in kilimani so like wasi kuuliza when you stay so was my stay around but mm. soon or later so, you, so yeah because kwa na nyumba pia sisi nyi ndo mnazo hii biashara venye kunaenda so yes. i'm always curious to to hear yes. when when mnapata like for example hizo doza 2020 za hii mwaka yes. zikiingia yes what are your what are your plans like yes if some mob hiyo ni ile tunaweza anza tunaweza if some mob kitu chezi jafika mita mbili ah, bado 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 is the mountain yeah. yeah so you to invest yes i can i'm planning god willing i'll just buy a house soon but okay. yo pesa kidogo tunaweza anza kujenga mahali mahali ama tufanye fanya yes. ka kitu yes nice yeah there's so many businesses somebody can do and uh, you start from where you are 
like usilale hapo ukisema nime apply job kumi hakuna penye nimechukuliwa yeah, amka what do you love doing you love salon you love you love there's something do anything opportunity za kupata mbele enda kwa hoteli enda kwa club ombe job utapewa job ukipewa job you start from there like you have to start from somewhere usikae kijani useme uh, do it come ndo yezi kuja like mimi nilijituma ana uh, sieti nilikuwa na luck nilijituma like yeah. from the word go i've been a hustler i've been ule mse mm. si hustler gava lakini nimekuwa hustler kutafuta ndo yeah. so i think we say ma toka opportunity to kupata mbele nice you start from anywhere i fully agree yes yeah. yes okay. start from anywhere in the next few years utakuwa utakuwa wewe ndio kusema hii mta na tutakuwa like eh unaweza kutekeza youtube channel you just start you have to start from somewhere yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Asante sana kutukua. Time today we have shifted to Nyenda kwa Rudolf Mekuja kama ze. Thank you so much for being patient and for sharing your story. I okay. really appreciate it. Welcome. Um where can people find you? Especially sasa mimi na jua na uza ni. If you want if you're looking for a house in upmarket area, Instagram Cherry Creek underscore properties, uh Facebook Cherry Creek properties. Uh by okay my rent can you also some do you you can't sign me but cherry creek right. properties is my my page. my company my page it's a registered company and uh you can also have my number but uh, can i give out my number yeah, yeah, yeah you can share but when you call ku nyumba sio story zingine my number is zero nyumba kama una pesa ya nyumba usipige hisi my number is 0704628158 Thank you. Welcome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's a very loud bus where we are. Let's see my feet. Hi. Oh, they're dropping kids, huh? See, I should care about that. I'm sure I should have. Mulu, 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.